One of my favorite things to do on RuneScape is to build back my bank from scratch, so I wanted to give myself a challenge. How long will it take me to build up a 1 billion GP cash stack from 0 GP on my gridlocked account? Well, in this little series, we're going to find out. The ultimate goal is to be able to build up a 1 bill cash stack within 3 months, so we will see if we're going to be able to accomplish that goal. But the rules of the series will be simple. No staking, no donations, and no skull tricking to earn the GP. Other than that, everything else in RuneScape is fair game. So first, I'm going to start by getting rid of everything in my bank and breaking all of my untradeables. So that way, if I want to get use out of them, I have to spend the GP to fix them. So after going through my entire bank and getting rid of literally every single tradable item by selling it or just dropping it, I ended up getting about 1.1 bill from this bank. So I traded it off the account, broke all of my untradeables, and got to work. These are actually the stats of my gridlocked account for anyone who was curious. I also have a fire cape that I just want to get rid of and I uh, may as well see if we can get a Jad pet from it. Yeah, no. Of course not. <laughs> One of my favorite ways to rebuild in this game is by completing the gauntlet. Anybody who remembers Dungeoneering back in pre-OC, or as I like to call it, the pre-nuking of RuneScape, will pretty much understand what the gauntlet's all about. The gauntlet is a solo minigame which doesn't require anything to enter. You go in, you kill a bunch of monsters, you gather a bunch of resources, create armors and weapons, all of this of course being timed, and then you take on the final boss, the Hunleaf. There's two versions of the gauntlet, easy and hard. We're going to be doing the hard version of the gauntlet because it'll get us more GP an hour. The boss itself is kind of a Annoying, it changes attack styles every four attacks and it changes its overhead prayer every five attacks. Every now and then it does a special attack where lightning bolts chase you and the floor is literally made of lava sometimes. It's kind of a giant pain in the ass sometimes, but I enjoy it for some reason. Oh, come on. Thank you. Oh, what a pain in the butt. There we go. That was the first completion. Oh, that could have been like a lot better than it actually was. <laughs> For a corrupted gauntlet, that is like the worst loot I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, okay. Just decided to do one of the normal gauntlets to see if uh, the price is actually better of what I get. No, okay. That was also bad. I hate who this Hunleaf chooses to be, man. All right. Good drop. Okay. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. This game's awesome. Thank you so much, Hunleaf. Thank How hard is it to get a good run, <laughs> dude? <laughs> Give me the blade and the pet in one, by the way. Uh, subscribe. Hunleaf. I know you're a good person at heart. Give me the blade. Or, you know, anything good. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot, you know, I actually said treat me like dog shit. Give me the little crystal hun leaf or a million dollars. I'll take that. Hey, clue scroll. You know, I'll actually wait on doing this, but I am probably able to do that. So I will gladly do that. Give me the blade. Uh, I'm just looking for uh, one of these uh, billion dollar drops that it normally likes giving me. But for some funny little reason, just is What is that? Uh, why did I think this guy was a broom? This guy looks like a broom from here. Give me the blade. That's not the blade. Hmm. Ooh. Uh, nothing even a little bit good. Actually, that's pretty good. That was like 200k. I have a 1.3 mil bank right now. Hmm. Oh. There we go. Not the right one, but 243k. I right, did a normal one just to mix it up. Cool. Easy. Ooh, cash. All right, one more. Okay, that's the last one for now. Let's see what we get. What's that? Two mil? 2.3 mil? And an elite clue. All right, let's go sell it all. Last inventory, 2.3 mil. All right, let me just crush this up and make super strength potions real quick. All right, so 61.6k just for the one inventory. Yeah, I've already made money from that. Ish. Yeah, that's not even, like, worth it. It's not even worth the trouble, to be honest. If I had higher herb lore, that'd be better, but... It's not worth the trouble for that. All right, let's go do a little LMS. All right, literally freest thing in the world to come to LMS and just get F tons of points. It's literally just free money to PK. So I'm going to win a few LMS games, get some cash. You're down, you're down, and you're down. Ooh, good fight. Dang, he was really good. I'm going to be honest, I got really bad luck for a long time. All right, good fight. That's 60 points at that point. So, I'm gonna go to a member's world now. Okay, so I think the best bang for your buck that you'll get is most likely the ornate mall handles. These are 15 points each. That should be 2.4 mil, 2.5 almost. Let's go see if it actually sells for that or if I just uh, should have bought Trovers instead. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that was worth it. 
What are we looking at right now? We have a 4.8 mil cash deck. Uh, I'm not gonna fix this stuff just yet, though. Let's get some sharks, get some staminas. Uh, buy one of these and like five of these. You know, I'm just thinking it's probably worth it to fix this void. All right, 245k. Now, let's try to actually do this clue. Hey, you got a casket. Let's see. 222k. Not third age, but I'll take it. All right, so uh, this could go one of two ways. Let's hope it goes the right way. We're gonna try a little bit of PKing. All right, down to uh, a 1.8 mil cash stack. Overall, this is the setup we're rocking. Uh, I think I need to actually go and get a seed pod. Very, uh, very unsure if this is gonna work, but uh, we're gonna test it out. Look at that, I already found someone. He doesn't look like he has much to be honest, but like, whatever. He might have a key, and that'd be really good if he had a key. Oh, okay. Well, I guess every little bit counts. Oh, he has the, uh, that thing. That shield. Oh, wait, he actually might have loot. <laughs> Good fight. Any plus ones? A Laren's key. This is already lo looking like a promising loot, dude. 280k, so it was like... 260k from that. By the way, I don't know why Jagex added this feature, but I kind of like it. You go into the Soul Wars portal, then you right click on the Soul Wars portal and you click Ferox Enclave, and I have a free teleport to the Enclave now. I like it. He's AFK. Hey, smited. Don't come back. Yeah. Why AFK in the wilderness like that, man? Oh, coins. This might be good. Dragon Boots, nice. Good PK. That's a nice PK right there. Peaceful blessing. Look at all these freaking brews. This guy had zero intentions of dying, and also zero intentions of bring restore potions for some reason. 530k, that's nice. That's a nice PK right there. Yeah, I'll do a few more here, but now, because of that, I can go into the rev caves. Although there are clans in there, and I will probably die to a clan in there, but that is okay. That's part of the wilderness. <laughs> he could've just left the cave, man. <laughs> That's all you had to do. Good fight. Got my boys on him. Oh, okay. That was actually something. Normally in a video uh, where I just PK, like that would just be like a cut clip. I wouldn't even put that in there, but every bit counts here. It's a little weird, but the nice thing about this cave, at least for PKers, is that it costs you 100k to enter it. And if you die inside, then you lose that 100k. So if I PK someone and they have literally nothing on them inside the cave, I still at least get 100k. So it makes PKing here a little bit more worthwhile. All right. Well, uh... A few guys just got away, so I'm just gonna make the upgrade a Mystic. I think it's a better idea, plus it's really just not much more. Yes, please run up. Up is safe. Oh my god, why are you running up more? Oh, that's why. I got him. Wow, that's actually kind of unexpected. This is decent loot. I didn't get the 100k that I would have gotten if he was inside the cave, but yeah, you know, that's fine because I could have just PK'd like 500k. Yes, <laughs> almost 700k. Nice. Good stuff. Hey, I got the 100k too. I think it just made the ding 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 sound. Yeah, 100k, 266k. How much loot? 376k. Nice freaking reaction time. That's good. That's a good reaction time. Mine now. I'm gonna wait for that loot. We're in play, buddy. Yoink. And you should be dead. One more hit. Come on. Okay, he's already smited at this point. You should already be dead here. Yep. Good fight. Give me. Okay, this looks like good loot. The beautiful thing is, no matter what I PK, I always get a guaranteed 100k when I'm in that cave. Almost 400k loot total that that PK. Honestly, I'm just gonna bolt rag him to death. Why waste my entangles? 257k for like no work. I love the new revs. Honestly, this revs is so much better than the old one. I think that the actual loot for the rev killers probably should be increased though. But overall, I don't really mind what I PK because it's really not terribly hard to do it to be honest. It's very, very fun.
Hey, you're gone. Oh, I don't get the 100K now. That's sad. Oh, 453K. That was actually more than I bargained for. Just die. Just die. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Dude, who is this guy? <laughs> This random guy is just shit talking this guy. He didn't do anything wrong. All for what? 200k? 500k, actually. Yeah, noob. Listen, I might be the noob, but you're the one that's not changing their fucking prayer ever. Yeah, I'll see you later. I'm guessing 239k, exactly. Oh my god, that was actually so close. <laughs> Oh, that's gone. There we go. Ooh. Okay, that's gonna be a lot of loot. This is fat loot. All right, moment of truth. Oh my gosh. That is fat. I am looking to get an AGS soon, and with uh, how disgustingly and depressingly dirt cheap it actually is right now. Yeah, we're gonna get one pretty soon at this rate. Okay, that's the second time someone's died of poison on the run. It's either 400k or it's 285k. 258k. All right, there's another guy here. Watch this. This guy had zero idea to switch up on him like that. Completely unaware of the switch up. That's right, DDS. I know you have the potential to do it. Come on, DDS. Push it. Push it to the limit, bit. Uh, all right. Okay. You literally brought me to the freaking rev demon, bro. Oh, 400k. That's a beautiful number. Oh, my God. Please. One more bolt. Wow. Okay, hello. Where is he going? He's just running around back and forth. Hey. What you doing? Leave the cave. The cave in it's right there. You can just leave right there, bro. Oh my god, what are you doing? Okay. Listen, you completely deserve that death. You completely deserve that one. 278k. Oh yeah, this guy had like literally no magic. I caught every freaking freeze. Mm, 200k. Yes. What do you think you're going, little lady? Not only is this guy not TB'd, but he's running north. This guy literally, all he had to do was just run one level south and he would have gotten away. Instead, he brought himself all the way up here. <laughs> yes, I am meleeing you. That's correct. Loot was okay. Oh, got him, but I have to literally go all the way around. Wait, this guy just didn't eat and he had food? What is he doing? Ooh, 700k from that. See, it's like a guaranteed 100k every- That was 300k? That's more than some people with actual armor. Oh, I got him again. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna let my uh, little pathfinding find the way. Oh my gosh. There's so much loot. 650k. Finally, man. Another fight with a peak here. This guy's a noob. And you're dead. Whew. That should be a couple hundred K. Nice. As long as somebody else doesn't come along and PK me. Literally no supplies, no food. Nice. 570K. He's literally just stacking himself out for zero reason. Okay. All right. I'm going to sell all the loot and see what our bank is looking like. All right. From the first inventory, we have almost 7.4 mil. All right. 8 mil. Let's also go cash in this key. The Laren's key. Give me the Dagon High rope top. Oh my fucking god! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! What are the chances? What are the honest to god chances? I just got 8 mil from that. Oh my god! Dude! <laughs> I just immediately doubled my bank from one key. All right, so I decided I'm going to go back because now I have an AGS. And the AGS only cost me 8.3 mil. I feel like I can actually kill PKers now. Like, properly. 
Yeah, there we go. He went right back into the cave, so I got that 100k. Thank you, buddy. You know, I'm realizing to myself, I should probably get myself, like, 200k tank legs. That's probably worth it. 200k, 260k. Yeah, go the other way. Yeah. Alright, here comes the team. Okay, this guy actually had a lot of loot. Whenever I'm, like, lured in any direction that isn't south, like, I can't help but think, like, this guy's gotta have some sort of bait set up here. But the way I see it, if they're really gonna try to bait me for, like, not even a mil, or, like, a little bit over a mil, whatever I have, then, like, you know, they worked for it, I suppose. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, I thought it was gonna be a lot more than that, to be honest, but I guess I can't argue with 300k. There we go. Clicking today is just not in the cards for me. Perfect. Alright, let's sell this. It served its purpose. And let's go ahead and sell everything we PK'd. Alright. Another one mil from it. I'm gonna grab out six mil and we're gonna go do Vorkath. So I gotta figure out the best setup I'm gonna be using for this. Alright, got more points. Where is the freaking thing, dude? Mall handle. Alright, down to a 10 mil cash stack. Need the antis as well. Was the anti venoms? The route is nice and simple because I teleport to Lunar Isle. I come right here, talk to that guy. He lets me go to the bank because we're boys. This guy despises everything, you know, every single fiber of my being. So he sends me right on out of there. But then I come right over here and I'm at forecast. I realize I forgot a BGS. Oh man, I'm so freaking cash poor now. <laughs> Crap. Mechanically, Vorkath is pretty simple. I feel like you don't really have to spend much mental energy actually doing Vorkath since you don't have to worry about any sort of rotations or anything. You pretty much just pay attention to what's happening on screen. There's not any sort of randomness to it and that's why I like it. Hey, first Vorkath. Give me the pet. Bro, look at that. That's actually like such good cash. It's just raw cash from this thing, man. Like, literally, first drop, already 190k. This is why I love this boss, man. Beautiful thing about it is, it is a guaranteed 24k, no matter what you get. Good drop. I ended up doing this for about 70 kills. Each kill takes anywhere from, like, a minute to three minutes, and it takes about a minute to bank. So, you don't really get too many Vorkath done an hour with the method that I was doing. But again, I still think it's really good money, so it was worth the time. All right. 200 Vorkath. I feel like that's a good place to stop. Let's go gather up the loot tab and see what we got from Vorkath. Hey, there's a little train going on. All right, so uh, I am going to sell the BGS and stuff, and there's a little bit more to sell. Let's sell this inventory. I accidentally buried one of the bones, by the way. That's awesome. All right, that inventory was worth 8 mil. So we earned about 8.2 mil from doing Vorkath. All right, sell all this, and now we have 22 mil, plus I'm going to keep the Brimstone ring for now. Honestly, after that, I'm going to do a little bit of an LMS break. Maybe get like 1 mil extra from those ornate mall handles. All right, 30 points. We get 1... Two. Sell that 1.3 mil. Let's see where we ended off with. All right, so for our first video, we ended up making 30 mil, about a bit over 30 mil. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more, then please make sure that you like and subscribe. It's free, it takes a second to do, and you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like. This was definitely a good start, but by next video, I'm gonna at least triple my bank. Guaranteed. <laughs> I'm making 1 billion GP from 0 GP on RuneScape. In today's video, I'm going to try and at least triple this 30 mil that we have. So the way I intend on doing that is by range to AGS PKing. I spent over half the cash stack on this because ultimately, it's one of the strongest combos to PK with in my opinion. Even if it sinks me some cash at first, I'm almost guaranteed to profit and profit big. So when I do PK like this, I know some of you guys are sitting there watching and thinking to yourself, you look stupid running around. Why do you even do that? Well, honestly, it's a fair question. There is a good reason why. Why I do that. First and foremost, I use ranged AGS on my opponents as opposed to melee to AGS on my opponents because it's faster. Not only do you get more hits, but a magic shortbow hits every 1.8 seconds, whereas most melee weapons you'd use in PvP hit every 2.4 seconds. That means I'm already getting my AGS special attack on them 0.6 seconds faster using range than I would using melee. Now we combine that with something called one tick distance. One tick distance is the amount of tiles that you're able to be away from your opponent where you can still attack them immediately when you click on them. This this is what it's like to not be within one tick distance. This is what it's like to be within one tick distance. Here's them side by side. So when you go for your melee special attack weapon, in this case the AGS, you want to be within that one tick distance. So why do I run around? Simple. To stack my range hit with my AGS hit. If I do it this way, I give my opponent 0.6 seconds to eat in between both hits. And if I don't stack the hits, then I give my opponent 1.8 seconds to eat in between both hits. PKing this way, I'll get more PKs and I'll PK more GP, so shut up! Okay, let's get started. I'll probably die. That's what I'm thinking at least. 
Yeah, see? Like, I did die. It's like my first fight, and I just automatically lost, like, what? Like, 1.5 mil? I should really just be a lot less careless than I was right there. Man, well, that's as warmed up as I'm probably gonna get. Made a little bit of money back for that, too, so that first death, uh, doesn't exactly matter, I guess. Still down, but not out. Dude. I'm just gonna send it. <laughs> yes, finally! First freaking kill on this, man. Ah, oh, 2.7 mil. I needed that so badly, man. That could be it. Yes! Beautiful, good fight. 1.4 mil almost. Okay, okay. Dead. Ah, 520k. I like it. Yes! There we go. I ate. Well, I killed. Oh my gosh, yes. 3.6 mil. We make up for uh, our flop of a start. Oopsies. I'm dumb. You're gone. Whoop! We're looking at like one mil, I bet. Yeah, 1.5 mil actually. Okay. Uh. Yeah, that's cool. Oh. Man. You're not, okay. There we go, good. Good fight. Did a little more LMS to warm up. It's another 700k into the bag. Yeah, I'm attacking you. Hey, that was really slow and I still got him. Cool. Fury, Serpentine Helmet, Berserk Ring, I think? Brimstone Ring, nice! Dude, that was actually like a 6-7 mil PK. Alright, what are we looking at? A 10.8 mil PK. Beautiful, man. That's putting us on the freaking map with this. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, that was a PID swap. You literally can't avoid that. I don't know if that was a 99, but I, I think it was a 23, 73. That's unavoidable damage. 1.3, what, 1.3 mil? There. These uh, obsidian plate legs are a bad luck charm. Thank you, good fight. Dead. Nice. I do want to say it's been like three days of PKing at this point, so it does take a little bit to get kills, but this combo's good. When the hits land, I get the PKs. Dead. Nice. Good fight. Woo, that's the, uh, the revenge. I got a whip from that. A billion dollars, perhaps. Let's go with this. 3.4 mil. Nice. Good, I got a revenge, uh, the revenge, and I made 13 billion dollars. Little rematch against this guy, but for those curious as to why I am wearing my torso and Varix plate skirt as opposed to range gear, the combat triangle is a bit broken in this game, so this gear is actually better to use in this situation than it is to use range gear in this situation. If you want to learn more, then I actually did end up touching upon it in a previous video. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead. Yeah. Those were the worst clicks of my life, dude. You got revenge on me again. Okay. Oh. Like, dude. I'm gonna say good luck, but this time I'm not gonna mean it. Although I am gonna mean good luck for me, and it worked. Thank you. The curse is broken. I can actually get a freaking kill with a fury risk. Thank you. Let's be real. I pretty much just broke even from that, man. Dead. Yes. 
Yes, it's happening. Now I kill him one last time, and I'm the king of the hill or whatever's going on here. Who will walk away victorious? This is for the belt. This guy doesn't understand. He doesn't understand what's about to happen here. He doesn't understand I'm about to take the, the world record all-time champion belt from this guy. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. No, the belt. The belt. No. I need double spec. Oh, yes! The bell is mine! Yes! <laughs> yeah, baby! Another $3.4 billion. Oh, man. Feels good to be the king. Feels good to be the king. Dead? Oh, I, okay. Lag? Uh-huh. Before we go on with this video, I can't help but feeling like I forgot to do something. Oh yeah, that's right, I remember now. Hey, uh, what are you- what are you doing to- <laughs> okay. oh, Much better. Nice. Great risk. Dude, these looting noobs- you're literally getting zero. You're getting nothing. I'm gonna take the bones, so you never even freaking know that the loot's gonna pop up. You did that to yourself, 800k. Man, good fight. <gasps> yes! Yes, dude! Good fight! Oh my gosh, that's a banky bank PK. Nice! Emulator Fury, I guess I don't get the Blood Fury component of it. That kind of sucks, it's a decent bit of risk, but still. Alright, let's organize this. How much? Eight mil. Oh, okay. That's still that's still a good PK. That's still a good size PK. I uh, kind of expected the Blood Fury to fall off, but I literally know it doesn't. So I don't know what I, I don't know what I was expecting, man. You're dead. Invisivenge, baby. Maybe 600k? Yep. A little bit like I'll gamble to try to kill these unskulled noobs. Because, like, what am I going to get? I don't know. He has so much random fun stuff. You never know what you might get from these guys. They could not only have their cash stack, but their 401ks on them. Let's find out. Like, I just saw the obsidian cape. Yeah, see? Look at that. Almost a mil off of that guy. <laughs> I'm telling you. That's why I love fighting those guys. They can stay unskulled. I don't care. If I have buttholes, look at this guy. Wow. Look at that. Jagex? Give me all your money. Alright, how much? 1.2 billion dollars. Thank you. Nice. Hit, baby. Now, understanding who hits first is so important for that. 1.7 mil? Jeez. Good fight. What? That's dead. Nice, good fight. 2.7 mil. Is this guy rushing me? Dead. No rushing me, buddy. Guthix dehyde boots, nice. But those Guthix dehyde boots are gonna be good. They're almost 600k, 1.4 mil. Bro, he is risking a freaking AGS, man. That couldn't have gone any worse. <laughs> there we go, finally. Got him, nice. Good fight, that was clean. I could kill the guy the other way, but I figured that was a much better chance. Two mil, oh, he banked the Fury. Oh well, 2 mil PK still is nice. He actually wanted a rematch, but in a different gear setup, so of course I said yes.
Dead. Nice. Beautiful. Good fight. Another kill in the bag. Oh, okay. I thought I didn't get it. Yeah, he had a Fury this time. And a freaking Berserker necklace, I think. Six mil. He must have had, like, Berserker ring eye or something like that. Yeah, let's try this. Yes! Beautiful. Good fight. Oh, my gosh. DFS. Brimstone ring, too. Yes! Oh, my gosh. That was lucky. Oh, my gosh. The hot streak continues. Another 10 mil PK. Dead. Nice. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. The hot streak. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let me uh let me just continue that real quick. Oh my gosh, 8.8 .8 mil. Oh, did I just smite him too? He might have just gotten smited. Derek. Let's just get the food real quick. It might have been a smite, but it was probably just him accidentally uh taking his prayer off potential. Actually, no, I don't know. I don't know what it was. I just wanna say. All three of those last kills, this one being uh, in that, three mil, was all in a row. It was literally fight, fight, fight. That like never happens. Oh my gosh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> hey, this guy's been boxing me, this guy's amazing. There's another brimstone ring. This guy just saved my freaking life, man. 8.4 mil. <laughs> oh my god, AGS. <laughs> what the hell's going on? <laughs> Another brimstone ring. Why does he keep bringing them, man? Oh my god, another 8.7 mil. Dude, what is going on? I'm just telling you, I knew from the get-go that this combo was going to destroy. I knew it. It, it. This is why this is the best combo in the game, in my opinion. Doesn't work against everything, obviously, but it does work against a lot. There we go. Honestly, I didn't want to PK him, because, like... <laughs> it way too much risk. I would have felt like that was just way too easily earned. Weed. Ah, oh, no way. Weed and oh, 1.5 mil. I'll say good luck, but it's gonna be a formality because I really mean good luck for me. All right, I'm the good guy. Uh, one mil. What? Whatever. Good fight. 1.7 mil. Okay, well, just want a few more games. All right, as of right now, it's apparently the Frozen Whip mix. Okay, yeah, nearly a mil. Oh my god, finally. There we go, good fight. That's a banky bank. All right, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? Okay, maybe not as much as I thought. I thought it was gonna be like 10 mil. I've been led astray. Oh my God. Right there, yes! That's a huge PK. That should be at least, right? Fury, Twisted Buckler. What are we looking at? A 7.7 .7 mil loot. I love PKing a Twisted Buckler. They're very cool. That's a stack. That's a kill. Good fight. 2.3 mil. Nice. Much better off using two AGSs. Because I could do this like that, see? And well, I get it the first time, but the second time, I did get it. That's why you trust the AGS. You don't trust the G Mall, man. Especially on people with max defense. 3.3 .3 mil, dude. I have a good feeling that we met a lot of GP this video. Beautiful. Good fight. I'm guessing that's gonna be like about two mil-ish.
<laughs> that was actually kind of cool. Hey, a Berserker Ring. It's a little different. 6.3 mil. You're dead. <gasps> if he hit me with the Venge, he was dead! I'm Venged! No! Okay. Good job, me. Wait, what? Why am I saying that? Good fight. <laughs> I literally thought he'd be able to loot all of it. 2.5 mil. What, what? Oh my god, wait. Some guys... Was some guy's loot underneath that loot? Some guy's loot pile was on that freaking loot pile that I got. <laughs> and I looted some other guy's loot too. <laughs> Dude, that's like a one in a million chance to happen. This video took a bit over a week to record. And I also PK'd this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Normally don't include these, but you know, it's money making, so I kind of have to. So we're gonna do this a bit differently from the traditional PK videos since this is a rebuild to one build series. I'm gonna take my total bank worth, value it, sell the stuff I PK'd, keep some of the stuff I don't wanna sell, and see where we end up from there. Just to start off, I have 19 mil cash. I wanna. Yeah, 19.6, almost 20 mil cash. And then I will do a quick scroll through of the loot and then grab it out of the bank. Okay, there's actually more loot than this. So let's start by selling all of this. All right, after the first inventory, we have 83 mil. I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably missing something somewhere, but let's sell the rest of this loot. Oh gosh. <laughs> we are at 129 mil and let's value the bank at this point. All right, total bank value, 140 mil. We are at 140 mil from two videos so far. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a like, make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna be breaking at least 200 mil in the next one. I was finally able to do this uh, elite clue. I just had to do a little bit of a half of a quest. And it was for, for no money. Okay. Red luck. I am making one bill from scratch. Last episode, get out of here. Last episode, I ended on 140 mil and today I plan on making more money as if that wasn't obvious. So I've got a few plans on how to do that, starting with Theater of Blood. So the Theater of Blood is a pretty straightforward thing. There are six total bosses that you have to fight back to back in order to complete the theater, with supply chests that you can access with points earned in the theater after you've defeated the second and fourth boss. The first boss is known as the Maiden, a former human who took on the theater to try and save her brother's life by sacrificing herself, only to ultimately end up having him turn into this. Safe to say she's a failure as a sister and a failure as a boss. All you have to do to defeat her is avoid her blood splat attacks, kill the spider things, and don't let them heal her. The second boss you just have to run around this big chemical vat or whatever to avoid getting caught by this big stinky dude. Don't get hit by any of the falling feet. The third boss is a collection of ticks or spiders or whatever, but I refuse to respect them, so I call them crabs. These crabs are all color coded to attack them with different combat styles. White is melee, green is ranged, blue is magic. Get through the waves of these crabs and then fight the big boy crab. The fourth boss is a big red dark beast who shoots ranged and magic attacks that are color coordinated. Occasionally he shoots big red death balls at you, which you're all supposed to stack up for, but I just tick eat them instead. This is mainly due to the fact that I also don't respect this guy, so I refuse to play by his rules. It will also send someone on your team to the Shadow Realm at 2 thirds HP and 1 third HP so they can guide the other members of their team through the maze. This is me guiding my team. This is me getting guided by my team. The fifth boss is a bat. He's also a loser. The final boss is Lady Versic, who has three phases. The first phase you shoot magic staff juice at her. The second phase you hit floaty Lady Versic. The third phase you kill spider Lady Versic. All right, first TOB back. All right, well, no item. But you know, the nice thing is you don't need to get an item to get a pet. All right, literally never, it's been two though. <laughs> I've done two KC, when am I getting this pet? All right, another raid, another dollar. Well, I do have the pet here now. Oh, I got black tar poop. Thank you so much, Jagex. Thanks for the poop, man. 458 piles of it. Six more chests and I got nothing. Oh, purple, finally. Oh my God, that's good. Actually, good drop. 25 mil split. Very happy with that. Hey, you ever seen a guy not get items twice before? Yes! <laughs> Oh my god, that was so stupid. Ah, oh, no purple for that? Come on. I did get nothing for four raids, but I also got... Hey, a clue. Casket. Alright. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> it didn't even go into the freaking screen, but what the heck? <laughs> 
Dude, that's so lucky. Holy crap. That's the luckiest I've ever gotten on a freaking clue, I think. That's so sad that it didn't even freaking pop up, though. Wow, I got robbed of that. Sell that. Oh my gosh. That's a beautiful 4.9 mil. So I sent another eight raids, and normally there is an 11% chance each raid if you don't get any deaths that you will get a drop. But, lucky me. I got nothing. Hey, elite clue. I can do that at least, right? And that's another clue scatter. Casket. What? Open it. Mimic? Ooh. Hey, guess what? Button. Is he not gonna die until I Oh no, he'll die. He'll die. You gave me a... That's not third age. Buddy. So with all of my luck at Theater of Blood seemingly tapped out, my buddy C Engineer invited me to go raiding at Chambers of Zarek with him, so I gladly accepted. Now listen, I don't think I could possibly describe Chambers of Zarek in a short way, because there's just so many different rooms and possible scenarios that you could spawn in, but uh, I'm gonna try anyway. So in a normal Chambers of Zarek raid, there are three floors and you get randomly spawned patterns throughout the first two floors. The third floor is always the final boss, which is Ulm. The amount of rooms will vary per raid, and the type of room will will also vary per raid. There are four different types of rooms that you can get. A scavenger's room, which helps you make potions and some other crap. A farming room, where you make potions and do other crap. A puzzle room, which usually involves using your brain, but like, not really, because the puzzles are pretty easy, and half the time the puzzle is actually just you killing something. And last but not least, the combat room. Because obviously, the idiots that spawn in these randomized rooms will practically always be different every raid. Once you get through all of that, you get to Ulm. The final boss. He has two hands and a head. Don't attack the head yet. One hand you mage, the other hand you melee. He also casts random spells sometimes because he wants to get into wizard school. Once you hurt his hands enough or whatever, you can now attack Olm's head and kill him. That's Chambers of Zarek. And for the first drop, nothing. Uh, yeah, I, okay. That's a good drop. E Oink. Thank you, Tom. Oh my god, I got a purple. Wow. Cool. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> back to back, bro. I saw the purple and then I didn't see the pet. What's going on with this Jagex? 68 mil. Look at that. What a beautiful, beautiful thing. 22 mil. So I now have practically a 50 mil cash stack in three chambers of Zarek. <laughs> So dumb. Just spent practically the whole cash stack on upgrades for chambers. Nothing and nothing. So after a few regular chambers, we decided to do some challenge mode raids, which instead of everything being randomized, you just have to face literally everything instead. Oh, and they're also all way stronger and way more pissed at you. The reason why we wanted to do challenge mode is that we have a better chance at getting a drop since the points are way higher. So ultimately, it's worth it. All right. Oh, wow. Dex. Okay. Ooh, thank you. We've got it. Chat off. Sad. White light. Alright. Oh! 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 <laughs> That's a free-for-all, but congratulations! A cold one just got declaws. Dude, he needed that. He actually split. Yoink. You know, at this point, we can actually make the upgrade. I'm gonna sell this BGS. We can make the upgrade to the Dragon Warhammer. Oh my gosh, I'm actually not a freaking noob anymore. Well, listen, I know I might be going out on a limb here, but I'm calling Twisted Bow. Oh, sent another TOB. Let's see what we get. This is a purple. Oh, told you. Purple. Let's see it. Oh. Oh, thank you. Do we get the back to back? It's the question. I don't think I've ever seen a purple. We got it. You have a purple? See, Engineer and I duoed and got nothing, so this game's actually so broken. We got nothing thrice. Oh. Thank you. Okay, so it's a five man, so it's literally impossible for us to not get a drop. How is that not 13 drops? Oh, a clue scroll. That literally does doobie. Oh, purple. Oh. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, no items four times. Wow. An onyx drop for, uh, for Tecton. That's kind of cool. I actually ended up going dry on like the next eight collective raids, so I decided to do 50 Barrows runs. Don't know what Barrows is? Click purple monster. That's it. I actually lied. I did 20 Barrows runs at first, got nothing, and then did 50 Barrows runs. Here's the loot from the first 20 Barrows runs. Nearly 1 mil. I actually ended up buying a strange old lockpick for my Barrows runs because instead of having to run all the way around the catacombs of Barrows, all I have to do is just use this strange lockpick on any door and it will let me through. 
I'm gonna time a run with it and without it and see what the benefit is of it. Like how much time it saves. Oh, there we go. That's an item, my first item. And a clue. Yeah, casket kind of sucked. All right. And that was almost four minutes. Now we can try it with the lockpick. Honestly, that was a slow run, but that was three and a half minutes. So yeah, it saves 30 seconds per run. And that might not sound like much, but that's pretty big. Another one of these? Hey, an item. All right, last chest. Well, so yeah, in 70 barrels, Casey, I got three items. Not that great. All right, so I got 186k from the elite clue that I got from the chest. All the money is going to come in the runes, obviously. So let's just sell these items. All right, from the items, I made 470k. And from the runes, nearly 3 mil. So from everything, we made 3.1 mil, nearly 3.2 mil in... Let me see how long that took. Like three hours. So it's about like a mil an hour. Anyway, give or take with that, with the luck. And honestly, I didn't even get good luck. So let's see where we're at in total now. All right, so there's a few things I need to sell. This is inventory number one. I think it's going to be like 10 mil for everything. For a inventory, 10 mil. All right, now let's get the remaining items. 14 mil from the non-drops. 14.5 mil. For the total price check of episode three of what we were at, I'm just gonna simply do this. PK Skull Active. So 250 mil on me. Could just do it like this as well. 250 mil though. And then in the bank, we have an extra 14 mil, which I think is not correct. So an extra 10 mil. So 260 mil. Quarter of a way there. <laughs> At long last, I've found it. I've found Gridlaw. It's just money making guy. On the last episode of Becoming a RuneScape Billionaire, we ended up with a total of 260 mil. Since then, I've decided to go on an adventure all around the world of RuneScape, starting with the Edgefield Dungeon. I actually did go PKing here on all of my other accounts, but you guys didn't see what happened on Gridlocked. So let's jump right into it. Go on. Nice. Perfect. You could have some bank. but I mean, black mask. Coins. Berserker ring. All right. And we're looking at 4.3 mil. The runes, too. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Almost 600k from him. Let's go. Okay, let's see what we got. We got the smite, so at least a Guthin's chain skirt. Got 550k and a Larenski. He's AFK as well. Getting out DPS by that guy. Fury. Okay. We're looking at some bank. Armored old dehyde. I got boots and everything. Yep, we're looking at some bank. And five mil about. He's AFK, so I'm just gonna go for it. Come on. Still AFK. Thank you. Woo! Full bandos. What are we getting? Amulet of Fury, Serachnus Kudjul. You know, surprisingly, not as much as I thought. 3.7 mil. Still good. Definitely still a good kill. So now that we've covered what happened, we're going on a bit of an adventure. So I wanted to try something that I haven't tried in years, and that is the Dagoneth Kings. Most of us remember these bosses as big scary boys who would one-hit you when you walked into their lair. But as we all know, memory can certainly be deceptive. You see, I remember these guys being difficult, but uh, in reality, they're actually all little babies. There's Dagoneth Prime, the chat of the group, who shoots uh, water out of his chest. Yeah, water. Then there's Dagoneth Rex, the melee guy. He's what I'd call the dumb brother of the group. Now, it might not be fair to call him dumb, but he gets caught on quite literally nothing. So, it's kind of hard to defend that. You kill him with mage. Last up, we have Dagoneth Supreme, and he's green. That's all I've got. Kill him with melee. Look, killing these guys isn't rocket science. I take out the ranger first and pray mage with strong tank gear. And then after that, I kill the melee, and then I kill the major. Once that's done, you can just kill all of them uninterrupted since their spawns are all set up so you can just kill them one at a time. I'm going to be killing these guys 100 times each to see if I can get any of the rings. The two that I'll be hunting for are the archer's ring and the berserker ring, both having a 1 in 128 chance to drop on death. So because I'll be killing a total of 300, there's actually a good potential to make a nice bit of cash here. See, the only reason I kill this guy is so I can get the pet. Or a dragon axe. Alright. I hate that that's a rare. And it's only 37k. That, that used to be like, oh my god, a dragon axe! But now it's like, meh. 
first trip done and I got practically nothing. 209k from the first trip. I'm also not going to use the SGS. I don't need it. Oh, look at that. Another unique item that I really wanted. Thank you. Oh, so cool. So epic. Bro, you've got to be kidding me. How many dragon axes are you going to give me? Well, this has uh, been an interesting trip. Bro, this doesn't even sell for 4k. That trip, 254k. Also this clue. All right, clue. Do. All right, money. Not very funny. No rings this drop, or this trip. Alright, 343k this trip, or 350, and a clue. Casket, 53k. Kind of epic mode. Oh my god, this is a curse. This is a legitimate curse. Another trip, another nothing. And we got 291k that trip. Casket, alright. Oh, as hard clues go. That was pretty good. Ah, oh, that's so funny. Thank you. That is just about right. All right, yep, 100 KC. I wasted many hours of my time. And 267K from that. So, I'm gonna double down on this whole luck thing. Effectively, I'm gonna be playing the RuneScape Lottery this video and seeing if we can hit the Ranger Boot drop from Medium Clues. You can get Medium Clues by opening up Eclectic Impling Jars. So, I'm gonna be buying 3,000 of them and seeing not only how many Medium Clues I get, but seeing if I actually end up making a profit from doing this. All right, so, it's pretty much just as simple as I open it until I get myself a medium clue and then I do the medium clue and I'm gonna just put everything in here there we go medium clue first one what only 30 in plus we do get a little bit of money back from what we get from the implings all right casket I'm gonna be opening these 10 at a time all right that's 10 caskets I'm gonna open them like three at a time then bank that's easier one two three one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay. So to get 10 clues done, it took us like 250 implings, less than, uh, than 250 implings. Clue casket number 10. You know, this next 10 clues, I'm actually going to time it to see how long they take. I got nothing, 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 and nothing. Nothing, 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 and nothing. In 44 minutes, I got another 10 caskets. Give me boots. Okay, that actually could have been Ranger Boots. That was the only cool thing I got from those 10. Alright, this one took, on the nose, 54 minutes to complete my 10 clues. Last four, three, two, one. I got a unicorn mask, though. Alright, well, I decided to do 20 caskets this time. Didn't time it. Probably took me like two hours or so, give or take. Did we get any boots within these 20 clues? First five, no. Eight. Next five... Hey, a master clue. May as well see if I could do it, right? I'm guessing on this account, probably not. Last five. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. Well, we do have another 1,500 left, so halfway through the stack, we got 60 clues done. Yeah, I can't do it. All right, that's 10. 45 minutes. Nothing, nothing. Oh, leprechaun hat. That's fun. And last one. 72K. Yeah, that's actually pretty decent. All right. Casket number 20 was... Nearly an hour and a half to get these 20 caskets. Let's open them up. See if we get ranger boots. That's my second adamant plate body tee. No, no, no. And, oh, 59K. Lovely. Can we see another boot drop within these next 10? Okay. Four, three. There's two left. Another boot drop. That could have been ranger boots. Ah. Well, well, well. And the last one. Okay. 700. And 30 eclectics remain. All right, last day impling jars. Do we get a clue? Nope. All right, so 26 more. Took nearly an hour, 50 minutes. Hey, a bell. One last chance. Nope. All right. Well, the total loot from the 3,000 implings. Let's get it all together. Total loot, seven mil. So I invested 8.6 mil and uh, got back seven mil. Awesome. So I'm going to be doing something a little bit crazy on frame for the next video. But in the meantime, whenever I run into somebody in the wilderness, I am going to attack them on gridlocked.
There we go. All right, first theater of blood in a while. Let's see if the luck will return. Oh, uh, no, I'm sorry. Forgot this account said no thank you. Nothing four times. Finally! Let's see it. We don't even split those, so, uh... <laughs> oh, apparently I actually do get a split. No, no, I can't. I can't take that. Nobody wanted it, so they just dropped it in the crab room. That's a clue cask. Hmm. Five more raids, no drops. That's a casket. Uh, uh, eh. Okay, yeah. Did I... I didn't even need to switch my freaking book. Alright. So if you're curious as to why I'm killing these guys in random locations, you'll find out next video. Quick little break at Demonic Gorillas to see if I get anything. Uh... <laughs> Okay, I've killed 31 of these. <laughs> it's got a freaking Zenite. All right. No one's really been raiding, so I just wanted to kill a few of these to see if I can get it. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> well, I'm not going to complain, man. Oh, okay. That's a rare drop. I hate that. All right, another raid. Purple. Purple. And I got... The only good part about that is that you don't split for items that low, so at least I get to keep the Din's Bulwark. Yeah, so I just won a few games of uh, LMS. So, where am I going? Well, if this is the best thing right now, then I'll do it. Oh, yes. This was a bad idea. Seven collective raids later, and we got finally a good freaking item. Is that the same drop table as the Twisted Bow? That's, oh my god, we could have gotten a twisted bow. 23 mil split. Six collective raids later. <gasps> a purple! Yeah! Ooh! Good item! Yay! Awesome. The 103 mil cash deck. Finally, man! Finally a freaking purple. Like a good purple. Obviously, we just got a purple at... at Chambers, but I haven't had a purple here in a while played the new LMS map made a little bit of money back to rating So after that purple I didn't see another purple from either chambers of Zarek or theater of blood for another 27 consecutive raids. Oh my god. Finally. Let's see what it is. Ah I'll take it. I'm happy with that dude. All right, let's see if we can get the back-to-back -back. But if not we can at least end the video 14 mil split beautiful. Thank you. Wait, the back-to-back? -back? Nah, why would we? I actually ended up doing a lot of LMS's video because I was getting so annoyed from not getting anything from raids. So I got a total of 90 extra points from that and made a couple mil from it. Just to give it a preliminary glance, the 121 mil, and then I am just gonna scroll through this tab and get all the loot from the raids we've been doing. All right, let's sell this inventory. That inventory is 7.5 mil. Second inventory. And 13 mil. Jeez, 13 mil from that. Let's also sell all of our raids items for now. Just try to get our cash stack as high as we can. Wow, that crashed. Pretty sure I bought this thing for 96 mil. Holy crap. Oh, whatever. Cash stack, 297 mil. All right, so we are ending with a total balance of 346 mil. Nearly 347 mil. Honestly, I don't really like where my luck was at with this video. I mean, I did get lucky here and there, but I think it's time that I make my own luck. It's time to go back to PKing and make serious GP. We are not going to end today's video until we have a bank value of at least 500 mil. We're going to be ranged to AGS PKing, and to top it off, I threw in some Darox for that extra KO potential as well as that extra risk. So, we are going to end up risking more, but with that risk comes the potential rewards. Oh, there we go. Good fight. And 2.8 mil. Yeah, this is going to be a lot faster to make GP this way. Oh, there we go. Oh, he has like nothing. This guy's a newbie newbie. He could die here. Yep. Okay, yeah. Give me that million. Oh my god, Berserker Ring. Alright, that was actually really nice then. Oh, oh my god, are you kidding me? Why does this happen every time I do this, bro? I just find a noob somewhere and just get 10 mil. Iron Power, you're dead. I'm dead. Well, yeah, 1.2 mil. 
Yeah, I definitely uh, lost money, but we're gonna make money. Stop begging and worrying for me, please. There it is, Smork. If only I got him on the smite. I gotta got my 7 mil AGS. 4.2. There we go, nice. For me, this is why I love the risk versus reward factor of PKing. I risk about 4 mil and I have the chance of doubling it with one PK. Nice, good fight. Nice ante. I probably should have died too, but you know, I'm not gonna argue with it. 3.2. You're gone? Good fight. Oop. Oh, nice. And 4.5 mil. 4.5 mil, that's pretty much like 9.8 mil if we round it up just a little bit. Oh, I got him. Nice. There we go. That's a DFS PK. He said to kill him and I did. Nice. And he had uh, yeah, the boots too. 4.7 mil. Oh, DFS is so much cheaper. Yeah, well, you know, because we're rounding up and this is YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and say 15.9 mil. That's what I feel I deserve. So that's what I'm going to say happened. Good fight. This guy wanted to go again. Don't let me down, Ping. Yeah. Give me another DFS, Ping. Like right here. Yeah, that's another DFS. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Ping. <laughs> well, the loot says 4.7 mil, but if we account for the tilt of the Earth's axis, I would say about 19, maybe 35 mil. Oh my god, another DFS? Okay, I'll take. Yep, that's another difference. <laughs> All right, so the loot says 4.7 mil again, but the earth is in retrograde. So I'm gonna go ahead and say 119 bill. Ah, uh, give me that full DH, please. Got him! Yes! Dude, that's a big PK. Look at that. That is a lot of freaking money. That's a lot. <laughs> Look at that. AGS, DFS, freaking Darox, torture. <laughs> Holy crap. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> I almost just lost all of it. Holy crap. 24.5 mil. I almost just lost all of that. Holy crap. Hey. What's this guy doing? This guy just called me a bad name. See ya. Hey, a brimstone ring? What's wrong with that dummy? <laughs> That's a free 4 points. <laughs> what a dumbass. <laughs> Good fight, bro. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna guess that was like 2.3 mil. Okay, no, not even close, 3.8 mil. By the way, there are other PKs that I get that aren't really that high in value, so I normally just don't include them, but I do get them. And you're gone, all right. Yeah, so I just killed this guy once before. And I uh, forgot to record it, so I killed him before and I just killed him again. So I got 3.6 mil, but like double that. Bro, if I, fuck, if I put on piety, he was actually dead. Wow. All right, and now I'm dead. Right here. Yeah, my revenge. His pit. Good fight, bro. Probably should have checked that. 
Dude, my fucking nuts and balls, bro. I'm just getting sucked on. There we go. Thank you. The revenge. Good fight. All right. One death canceled out. Five. Oh, okay. It was a little bit more because of the G Mall. Got him. I only got him because he actually walked in. I messed <laughs> messed up on my uh, my step in. Three mil, probably. No. Okay. Well, again, I'm a YouTuber, so we round up. 2.27 is actually about three and a half mil. Yeah. This guy's name is Botting, Botting for Gold? Well, at least he's honest about it. Yeah, five mil. Okay, fine. I'll attack this guy and kill him. He's not sculling, so that means he's not good at the game. There we go. Good fight. Hey, RK. I think that was worth it. Good fight. You're gone. Bye, Lou. It's the guy I raid with, and now I just decided to die. Eternal Boots? Bro, I don't know why he lost Eternal Boots, but I'm giving him back. I've earned the Darox, but not the Eternal Boots. Oh, he dropped on the pile? Oh, okay, he didn't drop it. This guy dropped it on the pile for some reason, but I'm also still not taking it. That's dead. Yep. All right. I don't have to worry about giving it to you. Good fight, bro. You might think that, oh, damn, like he's doing pretty good. But it's the setup, right? 4.4 mil. It's the setup that makes me so powerful. I feel like I've explained this quite a few times, but MSB to AGS, it, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculously strong. Good fight. That was beautiful. The armor takeoff there was pretty good. That got me the kill. All right. Uh, six mil. Hey, look at that, 6.8 mil. <laughs> That's finally dead, there we go. Like a million times I've chanced this guy. Oh, and I didn't get anything? I got nothing for that, I got the defender. Yeah, I did that for, oh my god, I didn't even get the defender! <laughs> That was my only chance. I just time it right. Oh, I got him. Never mind. All right, that was unlikely as hell. Hey, 7.8 mil. My bad. Don't worry, man. Good fight. That's why you don't gotta worry. Ew. <laughs> you know, both of those were pretty easy chances. Like that, yeah. Good fight. There we go, beautiful. All right, a little redemption. That guy wants the AGS risk. I think I'm down for it. 500, oh, 5.7 mil. <laughs> and there it is. AGS. Got the ornament kit as well. Dude, 10.7 mil. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <gasps> yes, good fight. Another AGS in the bag. Look at this guy. I really think he's going to get an AGS. All three of these dudes. And we are looking at... 12.2 mil. Hey, good fight. 1.5 mil. You know, uh, I just don't really trust these AGSs not to crash. So again, I'm selling all of them. They're all seven mil each. Yes. Good fight. Finally got a BGS kill. And a Debo. I clicked you. I'm gonna match this person's gear. We're we doing this on. <laughs> yes. And it's going down. Of course.
go on. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh! Yes! Oh my gosh, good fight. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's throw this in the bag. And then 4.7 mil. I think that's the fourth time I've killed that man in this video. <laughs> Beautiful, good fight. 2.4 mil. Oh. <laughs> good fight. <laughs> he was not kidding when he said he had like 25 DFSs yesterday. Oh. Go on, yes! My revenge! Price checking this is effectively worthless at this point because you know exactly what I got. Whoever wins, this is the king of this style of PK. Can't say that. Oh! <laughs> yeah. See, true kings would have murdered me there in cold blood. A lot of stimulation for my little eyes. No, I'm gonna get it here, yes. I'm the king! King! Good fight. That was another EGS risk fight, by the way. 14, okay, 12 mil, I lied. 12 mil PK. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Such a freaking noob, dude. This one, the biggest noob. 20 mil, Jesus. <laughs> right place, right time. Boom. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez, got a blowpipe too. Blowpipe PK, 4.8 mil. That is always a cool thing to see on the ground after a PK. He came back, bro. Imagine. <laughs> he just ran right to the bank. He came back with the same gear though. He didn't learn the lesson. Wow. That actually could have happened again. I could die. Yeah. Yeah, this guy geared up like this now. He wants it. Bro, no! Did you say beg? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Good fight. There we go. Thank you, chicken man. When you're sitting there at 5 HP, unsure of what's gonna happen. Practically 16 mil. Good fight, bro. Yeah, that's just uh, about right, to be honest. Whatever. <laughs> that was beautiful. Good fight, man. AGS, 12.2 mil. Give me. There we go. My revenge on this man, too. And we're looking at 2.9 quintillion dollars. <laughs> that's amazing. Told you. <laughs> 4.6 billion. Boom. Pot locked. Yes, finally. That was like a half an hour of a fight, dude. You're gone. Oh. Good fight. Clear off. 
Yeah. <laughs> I got, um, what's that, Saradome and Sword? Or an AGS instead, all right. And the Saradome and Tear? All right, we're uh, getting back in the swing of things then. 13 mil. Oh, dang it, why did I freaking give that guy a chance? Good fight, bro. Yeah, whatever, I don't think he really risks much, we're fine. Nice, good fight. An Archer's Ring, 5.2 mil, yeah. I, that's like the last thing I expected to get was an Archer's Ring PK. Okay. Well, good fight. Yep, yeah, an AGS. 11.3. Oh, I got him. I kind of figured it would either be a lot or a little with that guy. Yeah, 900k. Let's take out this tunnel rusher. Nice, beautiful. Obsidian, obsidian. Rusher down. 2.2 million. Oh. <laughs> 4.1 mil. Yes. Man. Good fight. The revenge. Good fight. Oh, finally, thank you. We're looking at a little bit. We're looking at a little bit of food. A little bit of cash. Food? What? Yeah, maybe I just got excited and thought of food for some reason. 8.9 mil. Yeah, that's an exciting thing to get excited about. Yeah. And uh, I think I'm done peaking on that note. So the way I'm going to do this, like I usually do for these videos, I'm just going to show you the uh, loot I got and the total bank value at the end. PK 27 Derox sets. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, okay, so this is the first inventory of loot, which is, uh, you know, basically the first and last inventory of loot. This is ridiculously massive. Okay, 83 mil just from the first eight items. Second, 115 mil. And 179 mil. And we're still going. Didn't PK these. I am going to sell them. Okay, it's 55 mil. All right, a few more items. All right. Now, the total price check. So it shouldn't come as a surprise that this is the most profitable way of PKing, at least for me. Practically every time I PK in this setup, I always make money. So we end this video with a total bank value, 570 mil. According to the bank value where I have almost 600 mil, so 400 mil to go. Thanks again to Monster Legends for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in the description to find out more about it. These videos take quite a decent time to make, so I will ask, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. So we PK'd well over 200 mil of profit in this video. A lot of fights, but I don't think we're done. I think next time, it's time to ramp it up even further. We are not going to be ending today's video until we have a total bank value of at least 800 mil. So far along this journey, PKing has been by far my best money making method, so I'm going to switch up the styles of combat that I use for PKing today and see what I like best. Yeah, that's about right, baby. It's the move I taught Magnus Carlsen in chess. It's called the kill. It's where you kill them. You ate? Yeah, you ate nothing, my guy. I'm not a dweeb. I'm a millionaire. Give me a 3.8 pill. You're dead. Good fight, bro. It's all in the power of Ped. 6.5 He said he risked 5 mil. That's like the complete opposite of lying. <laughs> Good fight, Sarasword. For what it's worth, the guy wasn't risking that much, but I usually fight guys that are unsculled, like a certain type of guy that's unsculled, because I can normally tell if they're a complete noob or not. So I'm saying though, it's, it's it's practically free. There was another opportunity. All right, let's just get this in here before I die. Sometimes you PK the 19 mil, and sometimes the 19 mil PKs you. Spike, <laughs> why do you have spike manacles? Yeah, that's a lot more than I thought he would actually risk.
Oh, uh, I miss eight. I misclicked on my angler. Good fight, bro. Okay. That gear loadout isn't necessarily doing much for me, so I'm going to move on to the next one. Full Carols with an Amulet of the Damned to an AGS switch. With the Amulet of the Damned, Carols has a 25% chance or 1 in 4 chance of hitting twice within one attack. That could be very good to combo with the AGS. Boom. Good fight. Yeah, I like this, man. And 3 mil. Finally, we're starting to look like we're going to be in the green. Yeah! Finally! Elder Maul, freaking Hydra Leather Berserker Ring, yeah! Boop. Ah! Just like I said, sometimes you PK the 19 mil, and sometimes it PKs you, and then sometimes you go back for revenge and you PK it. 17 mil PK. <laughs> Good fight. Yeah, it looks kind of cool on the ground, the Sarasaur and the Darok. fight. Probably shouldn't have stepped back. Give me that Debo. Got him. Jeez. Third time I just got the guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no chance. Didn't really want to fight him, but he kind of seemed determined to die, so may as well help him out. Kind of weak, but if it works, it works. It's just a SERP, right? Yep, 4.6. Yes! Beautiful! The Avenge! Coming through. That's gotta be a decent meal right there. Uh, 4.6? Yeah, baby! There it is. Another rusher down. Uh, 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 well, I guess I can't complain anyway with the cash. Oh, I got him. I got him. Yes. That's a bank one. So it's a whip and just spike manacles. So maybe the defender. And we're looking at, I mean, we are looking at nearly five mil. So who's complaining? I'm so dumb. There it is. That's a beautiful stack. Three mil. That's a whip PK, baby. Don't TB me, please. <gasps> oh my god! Yeah, baby. Wow, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> 3.5 mil. Okay, yeah. I'm Heh <laughs> uh, <gasps> No, that would have been a smite. Come on. No. Yeah, baby. Should have eaten on it. Give me that gilded plate leg. 5.2 mil. 5.3 almost. There he goes. Yeah, baby. And a 4.5 mil PK. <gasps> no! 
<gasps> yes, there we go. Got him. Um, give me that. Berserker ring. And it's 6.2 mil. Nice, bro. No! Got it. There we go. That's a DFS. And an archer's ring. 10.8 mil. Oh my god. Okay. Yep. That's about right. Yo, I just keep dying of this guy, man. All right. New gear setup. I didn't know he had a spec. Perfect. There we are. All right, that kills the dry streak. Good fight. Button. Yeah, I did it. And it's three mil. Bye bye. And 3.4 quintillion. Boom, good fight. Sad scam. Gimme. 3.9 mil, 3.9 mil. Oh. <gasps> no! Yes! There we go. Good fight. So, uh, congrats on not getting the loot, but I got it. 22 mil. You're in there. What? <gasps> oh! Yay, baby. Three mil. Well, this guy's telling me to trust him because uh, we're going to do a risk fight without protecting items. So, you know, it's a good idea. I'll trust him blindly. Okay, did he protect item? That is the question. He did. Okay, good. He actually didn't uh, skim. Yep, 11.6 mil. Of course. There we go. That's an AGS and some Darak. And it's 12 mil. Oh, that's just about right. Good fight. Give me that whip. Yeah. Give me that million dollars. Oh my God. What? Okay. Yeah. That's more than I expected. 7.3 mil. Give me that nothing. Guarantee you lost nothing. Yeah. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, I got him. Oh my gosh, yes. Another big boy, PK. What are we, 32 mil? <laughs> I'm gonna drop framed. Yeah. <laughs>got him good fight i have to give him back the uh ags ornament kit i told him i would who are you he wants a rematch sure hey there we go good fight yes i'm the best risks yeah give me that ag I just 10 mil again I smited him. That was actually the goal of fighting this man. And I got a twisted buckler. That was the only way I was going to get an item from that. Wow. That was such a long shot and it actually happened. <laughs> I'll take that four mil PK. Yeah, baby.
maybe 2.4 mil. <laughs> Two mil. Beautiful. Give me that. Beautiful. Four point two million dollars. No. Good fight. Of course. Look at that. He has D claws and everything, so he's risking the helm. Of course, that was perfect timing. Oh, oh. Yeah, all right, that's just about right. What's this guy doing? Okay, well, I just got uh, a decent amount of loot. A ZGS, a whip, a fury, what's with the risk? And that's 7.6 mil. I don't know why he had the ZGS. It's, uh, it's a move. I didn't even record it. I hate my life. I didn't even record it. <laughs> this is the man I fought. If I can kill him again, I could be like, ha, ah, hey, I killed this guy twice. Yes, okay, there we go. Yeah, I killed this guy before and then he dropped the exact same thing. So now I finally recorded it. Cool. <laughs> I got like 25 mil from him. My goodness there we go there we go hey i boxed this guy last time when he could kill him and now he boxes me and the loot is 24 mil my god man try to get a few more fights but we're gonna end it there so now we're gonna go through the entire bank once more we are going to sell it all and value the bank once more first inventory definitely the most expensive so first inventory 205 mil and last inventory. Final loot, 36 mil. So the total bank now is worth, we have a cash stack of 736 mil. All right. So total loot, 765 mil. Then when I value all of this, 781 mil. And then when we show the bank value on room light, 810 mil. So that pretty much leaves us with 200 mil left to make. And the next video, I'm going to finish this series. I will make the 200 mil, get the one bill and accomplish the goal. currently reside at around an 800 mil bank and we are not going to finish today's video until we make the one bill so to finish making up that last 200 mil i'm going to be using the scythe of Vitur, and i want to test it first at bandos first though i got a clue which has nothing in it so i'm just going to try a quick trip at bandos and see what we get Oh my f***ing god. You know what? You know what? I'm done with Bandos. Come on, guys. I think that deserves a subscribe. I'm literally never going to beat that drop, so I'm never going back to Bandos. One KC on the account, Tacits. I'm good with that. It feels good, man. We can finally do raids in max gear. Let's go and see what we get. I did nine collective raids and I got nothing, so I decided to send a duo TOB just to see if we can complete TOB with only two people, which is kind of hard. So the reason I decided to duo Theater of Blood with my friend Farmer Lou is because I wanted to prove to myself that I could. I actually thought it was going to be a lot harder duoing than it actually was, though, because there's only two real rooms, in my opinion, that are actually kind of challenging, and that's the Nilo's room, since you and your partner have to be on the ball with the mechanics of the room 
and the major especially has to be on point and the zarpus room because at least one of you has to know how to melee zarpus other than that we honestly got through it just fine didn't get any loot for it though obviously because that's just how the game works but it feels good having a duo theater of blood kill count under my belt nothing and nothing a purple finally Oh, nice. That's a great item. That's a big boy item for us. This thing crashed hard, but it was like a 38 mil split. Nope. Another purple. Could have been worse. And 14.5 mil. So I wanted to do a few more raids until I got another item. And I legitimately did not get another item in 20 raids. So at that point, I decided I'm just going to sell everything and go PKing to finish off the rest of the one bill. I only need to make 75 mil more at this point. All right. And use the key I have. Okay. Okay, there's the thing. Hey, nothing. Oh my goodness. Got him. Give me that. Berserker ring and everything. Eight mil. Any nice kill like that gets me closer, so I have to avoid deaths. Ah, uh, yes. This guy's risking an anguish because he has an Ellie, but uh, we all know that Ellie's aren't unstoppable. Oh my God, I actually got him. I actually got him. <laughs> yep, through the Ellie. I got the uh, necklace of anguish through the Ellie. It's like a 70% chance for the damage to be reduced by like 20 30 percent i don't know exactly what it is and uh it actually you know managed to work in my favor i just got lucky with the 30 percent chance of actually having an ignore okay apparently he risks an ags good fight and he does beautiful 8.5 mil we're on our way man maybe we're not on our way There we go, bro. Good fight. I actually fought that guy for like half an hour. Yeah, $13 billion. Oh! Good fight. What does he have? Well, that's a pet. If only uh, I PK'd the pet and went in my inventory, that'd be cool. Three mil almost. Not even close, actually. <laughs> Oh, wow, actually, <laughs> I got one HP. Yeah, I will take that. Killed him with a 30, bro. Five mil. Yes, we're getting so close. Oh, look at this guy. Yeah, you're not getting me. This guy will never kill me in a million and a half years. 4.3 mil. that that was too easy oh five mil that was too easy to get the kill though <laughs> i would have killed him if i was uh not dumb nice all right i do not trust being out there 5.5 mil the pking struggle is real in 2021 to not get tb'd and entangled the second you get a pk you, jagex probably should put like a 20 second time on anybody that gets a pk and for what it's worth this isn't actually anything new i've been saying i, I think i've been saying this for a while now they had that system in bounty hunter but you know bounty hunter's gone so same situation as earlier guy has an anguish and an ellie see if we can get it All right, that just felt too easy. I don't even think he ate. Oh, that's like a male.
Good fight. Uh, I'm going to get TB'd. It's going to happen. And 4.8 mil. He wanted a rematch, so I'm going to give him one. Okay, it's more. Oh, he got the Fury Ornament kit. Cool. Another rematch. And I've got to say, we're very close to the one bill. I just had to open my mouth, didn't I? Got him. Ah, oh, mill. Like, it wasn't worth it necessarily, but it was fun. Yes, good fight. It's got a bunch of cool looking stuff. 4.3 mil. Perfect. Perfect combo of everything. 3.8 mil. So I saw this guy in full just this year with a whip and a Din's bulwark fighting random people's skulls. And I tried my best for like an hour to try and fight him. And eventually he agreed to fight. Oh my God, he did. Yes, I killed him. I killed him. <laughs> oh my God, I killed him. Holy crap. Oh my God, that's the that's the one bill. That's the one bill. <laughs> oh my God. 52. <laughs> that's the one bill. I was not, I was gonna go do something else to finish off the one bill to be honest, but I mean, there it is. That's it, that's the one bill. My God. <laughs> All right, let's go sell everything. For what it's worth, it was kind of obvious that the guy was newbie and just messing around in PvP, but uh, I also realized I didn't even need to PK him. I already had the one bill at that point. I didn't actually find that out until after the price check though, so let's get into it. All right, so 875 mil. Let's grab everything we've PK'd and sell it. All right, so this first inventory, this is gonna be a large amount. All right, 105 mil. This inventory will push it over. There it is. One bill. Just to show you the bank with and without the cash deck. So I actually did have over one bill at this point. And how long did that even take? Let me check. So that was a three month process to make one bill from zero GP. And honestly, if I just PK'd for all of it, it would have gone a lot faster. So I really enjoyed this adventure of making one bill from zero GP, but it's time for me to go on a new adventure. An adventure that I've never gone on before. I'll see you guys next time with bronze man mode.